So after a long day of dental assisting and you coming home wanting to bang your head against a wall, just remember how many positive things there are about dental assisting. Wait, does one of my eyelashes look lower than the other? Yeah. Which one? This one. I freaking hate these eyelashes. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for those who don't know me, hi, my name is Melanie Luna Diaz, and I am a dental assistant. For those of you who um, are returning subscribers and viewers, Thank you very much for sticking around. Um, I am slowly starting to pick things up because I am almost at 1K subscribers. And I am very happy. And um, for those who already know me and probably clicked on my video, um, reasons why not to be a dental assistant or things I wish I knew before becoming a dental assistant. Hi, um, I know I said I would do this video like a while back but um, it's better late than never am I right so perk number one is I think the most important of perks and the most important reason why people choose to stay in this field um, and it is the pay Hello, I, like money. I know money is not important but it is <laughs> just kidding the most important thing in your life should be God I should probably stop messing with this okay. So for the amount of schooling you get, this is a really great paying job. So to give you some numbers, um, usually um, some dental assistants get paid 12 to I've seen $30 an hour. So uh, given pay does um, vary between cities and states. Um, for example, if you live in the city, you do get paid more than if you uh, would say work in the country. Um, but yeah, you can always work your way up. Um, there's raises all the times, and and again, some people even start you off at 16, no experience. It just depends where you work. So go find those offices. And perk number two is the amount of schooling. You don't need a lot of schooling to be in this career. And I know some colleges have like an associate's degree for dental assisting, or like a year course for dental assisting, uh, but I said, no, no, no. I am going to go to a 12 week course and that's what I did and now I am here with my RDA license. Perk number two, you get to be in the healthcare field without being around a lot of life and death. Yeah. This video is the biggest load of hoo-ha I've ever seen. And by that, I mean like um, medical assistants, um, if they work in a hospital, they are around people that die sometimes. And uh, veterinary technicians uh, are also around animals that die. And um, those are both very sad. And I personally, as a human, would not like to be around those things. I'm already like obsessed with death as it is. Like not in a creepy way, like, um, I don't want, want to die, but I think about death on the daily. So I don't want to think about it more than I already do. And I know that if I would be around those situations, um, it would be overwhelming. Perk number four, you get to meet a lot of great people. Your patients, really, they do grow on you, especially if they come in for their reoccurring appointments. Um, you get to build relationships with them and you get to hear their stories and it's really interesting. Like I had this guy tell me, well this wasn't like a good story but um, it was interesting to hear in a bad way. Like he was telling me that he saw like a lot of people die. Um, it was actually very sad but it was interesting to see how much he overcame. Next perk is that you get to see a lot of interesting things um, that you would not see unless you were all up inside of their mouth. Some things are gross, don't get me wrong. Some things I want to uh, gag at. I saw this one patient that came in and he was missing the roof of his mouth. 
yeah, you heard that right. He was missing the inside, the top inside of his mouth. I could see up into his nose bone. It was pretty freaky, but it was interesting nonetheless. And the next perk is that um, you won't get bored. Uh, getting kind of bored. <laughs> so it does take a while for you to perfect general dentistry, but if you get bored of general dentistry, there are many other specialties in dental assisting that you can go to. Like you can go to oral surgery, dental assisting, orthodontics, dental assisting, um, and endodontics, or endodontics, dental assisting as well. So there are many places where you can go to in order to get um, not bored. The next perk is the hours. So I don't know about you, but I like to keep my weekends free and I like to not work at night. Out the trash, taking out the trash at night. It's kind of dark out there. Dentistry usually um, works Monday through Friday and some don't even work Fridays. Think about that. Usually you'll work Monday through Friday, nine to, nine to five or 10 to six. And those are really great hours for me because I get to come back, I get to cook food and spend time with my family. So that's, that's pretty good. And my next perk is the travel. In order to keep up your dental assisting license, you do have to go through um, continuing education units. You have to complete six hours worth of them every year that you want to renew your license. Some offices actually pay for you to go to those continuing education courses. And some continuing education courses are actually in other states, in other cities. So then the offices will pay for your flights, your hotels, and it's pretty dang awesome. Again, only some offices do this, not all of them, um, but the good ones do. All right guys, so that is it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like this video, if you did not like this video. Any comment, I will read. I, I read most of my comments, but I don't know why with YouTube Studio, sometimes it doesn't let me see all the comments. And sometimes I reply to those comments, but it doesn't show up on the YouTube app. I, it's confusing, but I really try to read all of you guys' com all of your guys' comments, and I try to take all your criticism and um, realize how I can make my channel and videos better. So I really appreciate your feedback um, and your stories. A lot of people have been reaching out to me especially in my last video about um, reasons why not to be dental assisting. Like, a lot of people go through some pretty messed up chiz. And so again, if you saw my last video, if you work at an office where the things I said above are true, um, maybe you should not be working at that office anymore and find a better place. And follow me on my social, all my social media. Okay, disclaimer, I know I haven't been as active on Instagram as I usually was, um, but that's because I am working and going to school. It doesn't give me a lot of time to film anymore. So I try to make videos once a week, but I think now I might have to start doing them once every two weeks. I'm sorry, um, but I'll still try to do it once a week, but just to give y'all a heads up. Bye.